This video will cover the topic, Simplifying a Ratio of Multivariate Monomials, BASIC. In order to solve problems in this topic, we will want to pull from our knowledge regarding greatest common factors. If you do not feel comfortable with GCF, it will be helpful to take a few minutes to get some extra review of the topic, Greatest Common Factor of Two Numbers. Let's begin by defining a couple of keywords found in the title of this topic. Ratio means the quantitative relationship between two amounts showing the number of times one value contains or is contained within the other. For example, 3 to 5 is a ratio, which can also be written as 3 over 5 in fraction form. Multivariate means involving two or more variable quantities. For example, 5xy is a multivariate expression because it has two different variables, x and y whereas 5x would just be a univariate expression because it only contains one variable, x. The last word we're going to define is monomial. Monomial means an algebraic expression consisting of one term. For example, 2 fifths x is a monomial, whereas 2x plus 3y would actually be a binomial because it consists of two separate terms, the 2x and the 3y, and thus is not a monomial. What we're going to be dealing with in this video is a combination of all of these keywords. We're going to simplify the ratio of a multivariate monomial. For example, one such as 35 ABC over 56 BC. To simplify a multivariate monomial like this one, there are a few steps we need to take. First, we break up our numerator and the denominator into their factors. This is where our greatest common factor knowledge will come in handy. Next, we are going to identify like terms in the numerator and the denominator. Finally, for this problem, we will cancel out those like terms to complete the simplifying process and reach our final answer. Let's walk through an example problem together and simplify the ratio of our multivariate monomial 35ABC over 56BC. The first step is to break our numerator and denominator into their factors so we can look for like terms to cancel out later. When we break down the 35 and 56, we will want to first identify their greatest common factor so we will be able to simplify the expression as much as possible. To find the greatest common factor shared between 35 and 56, we'll start by identifying possible factors of 35. Well, since factors are numbers that when multiplied together equal the given number, I know that 1 and 35 and 5 and 7 are factors of 35, right? You betcha! Then the factors of 56 are... Well, there is 1 in 56, 2 in 28, 7 in 8? One more. Uh, oh, 4 in 14. All right, perfect. Now the next step is to identify the greatest factor that 35 and 56 have in common, thus the name greatest common factor. What is the greatest common factor of 35 and 56? Looking at our list of factors, I would have to say that the greatest common factor is 7, Good job! So we can break apart our problem into 7 times 5 times a times b times c over 7 times 8 times b times c. Next, we identify common variables found in both the numerator and the denominator. What common variables do you see in this problem? Well, there is a 7, b, and c in the top and bottom of this expression. Good! Next, we can eliminate common variables found in the numerator and denominator of our problem. So the 7's cancel each other out because 7 over 7 is equivalent to 7 divided by 7, which is 1. The same thing goes for the common variables. The b's cancel each other out, and the c's cancel each other out. And what we're left with is our final answer of 5a over 8. Okay, so to simplify a ratio of a multivariate monomial, we just find the greatest common factor of the numerator and denominator, take away the common factors, and solve. That's right! 